Welcome back to Blender for Games, and hopefully you didn't understand, you didn't expect this one, but I'm dropping another video. Oh my God, this is too soon for you. Hopefully, anyways, last time I talked about packing the texture. What does that mean? That's pretty much a way of optimizing your textures inside of game engines, so you have less memory pool and less problems and less performance issues in one way. What does Unreal Engine do? For packing, it just packs three textures, a roughness, metal, and ambient occlusion. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to pack your own textures, how to set everything up in Unreal Engine itself. So let's jump in. So we're in Photoshop now, and you're asking me, why is there a white image? Or what, where are my maps and everything? As you can see, I actually import them as well, but you're going to need one empty in the size of your texture. So this image is in 2048. Uh, by 2048 so for albedo as i said oh my god for albedo we don't need anything it's a little bit dark actually for pbr values anyways uh you can just take this uh, you can just like you import it later. i'm gonna import everything later on real engine but i'm i don't need it now so i'm just gonna take it off same for normal normal thank you so ambient occlusion metal rough it actually, that, um, for my own workflow, let me go back to the presentation. I'll take this actually off because I don't want anybody to see my personal life. I'm joking. You can, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. So red, rough, metal, blue, green, and AO blue. What does this mean, Blender for games? Let me explain you. So if I go back here, you can see their channels here. The same thing goes for GIMP. I actually tried it out, but I don't like GIMP and I have Photoshop and I'm like, I don't need it. So let me go to my empty image. So if I go to the channels, you can see they're red, green, blue, and actually alpha if you need it, but I don't need it. No, actually don't delete, oh my God, don't delete it. Alpha, but we're not gonna use it. Yeah, delete alpha. So if you go here and say red, it says rough, rough, rough. That was a bad joke. You're just gonna take your roughness, copy. Oh my God, that was loud, loud. And you can see the channel here is only gray because it is what? Linear. Last episode, I, I was talking about that, so don't, don't judge me. So go to your empty one. I copied roughness. Go to the channels, click it like 50 times to make sure it's only red and just control V. That's it, red. Let's go, what's next? I'm going back and forth because of you guys. I do this like, I don't know, pretty fast. So so green, metal. Let me go here. Let me go metal. Let me take this. I'm just going to turn this off. Pretty much the same thing. Copy, control C. Go to green, control V. And that's it. And let's go to the last one. Ambient occlusion. Going to take this, turn this off. Oh my God, that was a big mistake. I turned it off by a mistake, but oh my God, perfect tutorials. Go here, copy this and control, uh, control V, paste it. Oh, I've wrong channel. That's why I'm telling you, press your channel 50 times to make sure it's the right one. So blue goes ambient occlusion, that's it. Now, you're gonna have something like this, and in the same, uh, and in this presentation, you can see you have the something like that. And you're what? What's happening? Oh my God! Why is everything pink? Because pink is the best color you can have. And I'm gonna save this as um, I'm pretty much gonna hide this because there are a lot of NDA stuff which I don't want people see. So tutorials, uh, textures. I'll call this one Packed Unreal for PNG. PNG is the thing you can use. There's actually, I think TIFF or Targa, I'm not 100% sure which one. One doesn't work with the engine, the other one does. And I think they're a little bit better because they're a little bit less intensive. So save. Uh, okay, so welcome to Unreal Engine and let me just drag and drop everything even if it's imported i'm gonna show you how to import so you're just gonna select maps we're gonna use so these ones you're just gonna drop and drop and drop and drop and drop them oh my god and just gonna re-import it for me but it's gonna import for you or not did i import it right 
uh, yeah, it's actually refreshing it, so I'm re-importing it twice for some reason, so I'll just wait a little bit about it. There we go. Please. Yep, and as you can see, it just refresh refreshing my materials. So if I open this one, it should have sRGB checked, which is okay. Uh, this is the old uh, cancel. So turn this off. As you can see, I already tested it out for you guys. I, I'm thinking about you guys. You're gonna check the normal one as well. For some reason, uh, I think sRGB should be turned off. What does it happen if I do this? Nothing, because it says normal map. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, kids. Uh, for this one, I want to open to show you if by mistake you imported OpenGL one. You're just gonna press flip green channel, and if you can see, our green is downwards. And if we go back to our presentation, downwards is OpenGL, which Unreal Engine uses. So we're good with our normal map. And the last one we're going to use is our packed, and it should be sRGB off, which is off. If it's not, t turn it off. So let me actually use the this one, this material. What did I, actually, no, let's make the, I already made the new one. So let's open it. And let's import the textures. So albedo, normal, and packed. You just drag and drop them, and you're gonna make some room and open this window so you can see what you do. So you're gonna put this one in base color. You're gonna put this one at normal. And remember RGB. Remember you put your textures in RGB, so red is R, G is green, and B is blue. So if my roughness was red, I'm gonna put this as R red. Green was metal, so G to metal. And blue was ambient occlusion. And just do this, you apply, and that's it. Now you know some basics going from Unreal Engine, uh, from from anywhere actually to Unreal Engine. So let me just let me wait this for for compile. And as you can see, our so uh, our results are pretty much the same, which is perfect. That's the way I like it. The only thing I did here is play with the lights a little bit in this one, and I didn't. So hopefully, I'm gonna record the next one soon and have a good.